Well, here I am. I'm back again working on this airplane. Everybody, uh, the family knows it as the airplane. My wife's like, are you going out in the garage work on that airplane? That airplane. Hope you all having a blessed day. Let me tell you something. It was so beautiful here today. Man, sunny, 80-something degrees. Very nice. Very close to paradise, I'd say. Pulling the staples out of the spar. Pretty long. 139 inches. Got that Simonini motor on the previous episode. That was so nice because now the plan is coming together. Now I was struggling because the airplane supplier wasn't getting me the parts for the plane. Having to go through all kinds of stuff to get that. And then half the time, the stuff went right. And then, of course, uh, the Scott Scalsey pump air thing where the guy just stole my money and ran. But we got another motor. We're going to make it happen. We've got almost everything we need. So any issues we got from now on, they're all my fault pretty much. <clears throat> I need to sand this down. We're going to put some gussets on here. We'll put one here. You see one down on the other end and then one on the flip side. We're going to go ahead and drill it for the strut brackets and uh, root fittings and then take it back off. And then as we build the wing, we got to slide the ribs over top of this. Then we'll come back, put the gusses back in, bolt them on and drill them in. Let me sand this up a little bit. Yeah, a little sander may make quick work of that. All right, I'm gonna put these gussets on. Then the next step is gonna be to finish up these ribs. They're not they're not completely done. I gotta put in the airline nose ribs. A uh, few other little details to get them ready. Then we'll be ready to get the table cleaned off and get it constructed. It's pretty good, just like it is. Got some epoxy in there. <laughs> I might have to get another one of these. It's a really good, cheap little gun, but I like it. All right. Now you gotta put this one on down here. Five and a quarter inches total. So this one goes right cheer. And a slight angle cut on it. That three degrees. Ready to go. Flip over and repeat.
I'm gonna round this off a little bit. <clears throat> okay, we're ready to drill. You know, I knew I was going to do that eventually. Mm. Mm. The bleeder. Mm. All right, you just witnessed a... Workplace injury. Waiting for that to happen. Now that it has, maybe it won't happen again. these over here with these all right now I gotta drill this one this is that two and three sixteenths line let me get a band-aid Bleeding good. The two and three sixteenths, four and three quarters up from the bottom. Okay, tape them together and save them for later. All right, and then this is the starboard back root we'll take it off and save it
Okay. Got them two pieces. Now, uh, this bar is done, as far as I know. It's going to fit in the ribs. It's all built. All the braces are on, struts are on, drilled. So we'll put it over there next to the box. Next thing, we'll start working on these ribs. And simultaneously, I'm going to start working on that motor, start figuring stuff out on that. So, uh, once again, had a blessed day, good work day, and a little minor accident, no big deal. <clears throat> it was just a matter of time before I cut myself with this very sharp little staple puller. Actually, a little nail puller that I sharpened down the edges really sharp to make a staple puller. Been using it all along, and then. I've had many near misses, but tonight it didn't miss. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to tune in. Hope you're enjoying this build. Uh, we're going to have a wing four along. I tell you what, these wings are a long process. Hope you have a blessed evening. Don't forget, keep looking up.